Let's come down here. We're going to prove the or find out the double angle for the sine and cosine, and then the half angle of sine and cosine for this angle. So what I'm going to do here is I'm a, I, I know the sine theta is equal to negative square root 3 over 3, and it's between, well, it's in quadrant 4. So I know the cosine is going to be positive in this case. Cosine is going to be equal to, so I know my, my y value is equal to the square root of 3, so my hypotenuse value is 3, so 3 squared, 9, minus my square root 3, which is just 3, is equal to 6. So then that means my x value is equal to the square root of 6, which is square root of 6. So coming down here, let's see, I got this, this, this. All right, so now I know that the cosine theta is going to be equal to the square root of 6 over 3. So now I can solve for the sine of 2 theta, which can be equal to 2 times uh, negative square root of 3 over 3 times square root of 6 over 3. So this ends up being 2 times square root of 18 over 9. And with the 18, we can pull out, because it's 9 times 2, we can pull out 3. So we get 6 over square root of 2 over 9, and this becomes 2 square root 2 over 3. Now we'll come down here, do the double angle of the cosine. Let me use co uh, cosine squared minus sine squared, so in this case I'm going to get square root of 6 over 3. Square that minus the sine, which is going to be equal to negative square root of 3 over 3 squared, and we're going to get 6 over 9 minus 3 over 9, which is equal to 3 over 9, which is equal to 1 third. I'm going to come down here. So I need to find the half angle of the cosine, or excuse me, the sine. So this can be equal to. Um, be half angle or quadrant one. So the half angle is probably going to be plus, I think. And yeah, it's going to be plus because um, half of that's going to be in quadrant two. So plus square root of one minus the cosine. It ends up being plus because cosine's negative value. Or excuse me, no, it's still minus. And that's going to be equal to square root of 6 over 3, all over 2. So bring this out further, I get square root of 3 minus square root of 6 over 3 over 2. And I get 3 minus square root of 6 over 6. That's my final solution for the sine of the half, half angle of the sine of theta. And then for my cosine theta, I'm going to get, it's going to be a negative value because it's left of the y axis. So negative square root of 1 plus square root of 6 over 3 all over 2. And I'm going to get minus square root of. 3 plus square root of 6 over 3 divided by 2, which is equal to negative square root of 3 plus square root of 6 over 6. And that's it. Those are our solutions.